following the path beaten by other manufacturers, Ford took a popular pickup truck, redesigned its chassis and running gear, put a five-door body on top and, naming the Explorer, apparently in defiance of the discovery, produced a classic SUV of its time. Spacious, reliable, a little less comfortable than the Chevrolet Blazer, a little less passable than the Jeep Cherokee, well, a little less popular than the. But in order not to miss the initiative, fresh solutions were required, and five years later, the rounded Explorer of the second generation was released, which lasted on the assembly line until 2002. In 2002, a model appeared that many rightly considered the forerunner of the British bestseller Land Rover Discovery 3, the third generation of Explorer, in my opinion, turned out to be extremely successful and interesting, although it suffered from the Ford era of marginal economy. But the fifth generation, which many compare with the Range Rover Sport, turned out to be a crossover. The comparison, by the way, is not so inappropriate, since the same person, Jim Holland, worked on the appearance of the Ford Explorer and on some Land Rover models, and the platform was taken from Volvo, this is a heavily redesigned P2 on which the Volvo XC90 and XC70. So it is not surprising that the fifth Explorer has become a classic crossover, only larger, its overall length exceeds 5 meters. But thanks to good proportions, it does not seem so long, but it is spacious and really suits fans of the American car as a family car. In a new reading of the classics, so to speak, the fifth generation Ford Explorer entered the Russian market in 2002 with a single engine and has remained with it to this day. This is a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated gasoline B6 Cyclone TBCT, which was mainly sold in our country in a version with a moderate degree of forcing, digesting any gasoline and producing, as it were, 249 horsepower on the 92nd with, as if, because these pre-tax forces were obtained in a certain sense artificially, by firmware. After all, the same engine is capable of developing 294 horsepower s, and with the turbocharger in the EcoBoost version, 345 and even 360, as on police interceptors. This is an absolute advantage of the Explorer, especially since its running gear, with the exception of the transfer case, easily copes with the increased power. The motor does not have any noticeable flaws, and if you look at the recall map, you can find anything there, floor mats, transmission, steering, rear traction, but not the engine. The owners complain only about the strange behavior of idling in severe frosts. This is not treated by any flashing, resetting errors and other electronic manipulations, as well as it is not diagnosed either by a complete disassembly of the car, or by kicks on the wheel. Only restart and installation of an autonomous heater help. Luckily, the engine doesn't wobble like some Japanese diesels do, and rough idles don't get in the way too much. But what is really annoying is the remote engine start glitches. However, this applies not so much to the motor as to the entire keyless entry system, but most often it begins with the start. On cars manufactured before 2012, there have been cases of knocking during engine operation, especially during warm-up. Officials changed the camshaft bed covers, and the knocks disappeared. There is a special bulletin for this, and the replacement is made at the expense of the company. Some, however, argue that the knock occurs for a short time, only on a cold one, and this does not fall under the bulletin and is not treated in any way. They say that someone even succeeded in replacing the engine, but in reality the problem is put on the brakes under the explanation that changing the oil, valve phase shifter and timing repair kit does not help. True, this knock can only be detected if you stand and smoke by the open hood when warming up. Yes, even after a long period of inactivity. In fact, changing the oil to the recommended 5W30 in the timing chain can still overcome the defect, and often the left engine mount is quite unexpectedly to blame for knocking. The most common problem that requires partial disassembly of the engine is a pump leak. It is located in the collapse of the block and is driven by the timing chain, and everything would be fine if it were not for the clogged drainage holes and the oil pan right under the pump. In advanced cases, the owner could get antifreeze in oil. Changing the pump is not so difficult, but it requires patience and accuracy. After all, the front cover alone is fastened with 26 bolts. 26. After that, dismantling the radiator and everything else does not seem so catastrophic. The procedure costs about 50,000 rubles, but believe me, it's worth it. The alternative is coolant in oil and a new motor from disassembly for 200,000 rubles. The fifth generation Ford Explorer judging by the drive, is a crossover. And this means that instead of a transfer case, 
it has a power takeoff gearbox for the main pair and an electronically controlled clutch for the rear gearbox. In principle, the nodes are almost completely identical to those used on the Land Rover Freelander 2. Here, in fact, are the two main transmission problems of the car, and both are associated with lubrication. The gearbox seals are leaking and oil is leaking from the Haldex coupling. The manufacturer claimed that these units are maintenance-free, but ours have learned to refuel them, and now the officials do it too. In the case of a gearbox, in the literal sense of the word, filler and drain holes are drilled. But this does not apply to everyone, some cars have both a drain and a filler plug, and some have only a filler one. Problems with the gearbox often occur already at 50,000 kilometers. The oil overheats, turns into condensed milk and squeezes out the stuffing box. If problems appear during the warranty period, and there are no holes, then the unit is removed to change the oil. It costs 15,000 rubles, and garage is about half as much. After restyling in 2015, the procedure is more expensive, because you also need to remove the engine subframe. I do not recommend agreeing to change the oil through the breather, it is inexpensive, but it will not work to properly clean the crankcase from wear products and old oil. In the rear gearbox, the vents develop in almost the same way. If the level drops, a hum appears. The unit is maintenance-free. Then you understood, remove and fill or drill holes and fill. Problems can start with the most minimal mileage due to overfilling or underfilling of oil at the factory. Yes, by the way, the fourth generation Haldex clutch is on the SUV, which practically does not overheat. Another common problem with the fifth Ford Explorer is the steering rack. A new one costs more than $1,000, and if the car is equipped with a parking assistant, then more than two. Therefore, when inspecting, look under the rail seal, and if you find traces of corrosion there, it is very likely that a replacement is not far off. The power steering on all generations of the fifth Explorer is electromechanical. The manufacturer claims that installing hydraulics on such a large and heavy vehicle will inevitably lead to problems with steering sensitivity loss of power to the pump, and difficult layout of the assembly in the engine compartment with the transverse engine. Steering loads are very high even on pavement, and off-road operation and driving in winter mud can kill it quickly. The malfunction is expressed in a tight steering wheel, a very poor return and a complete loss of sensitivity in the near zero zone. Repair will cost about 25 to 30,000 rubles. In any case, at the first opportunity, the rail must be diagnosed for the presence of backlash, tightness of the seals, the absence of smudges, tight running, and jamming. It is likely that it will be possible to get rid of tightening the clamps, fasteners, and lubricating with push cell the place where water can penetrate. The suspension of the crossover is reliable and hardy. Troubles are more often delivered by the front struts, knocks in which may appear already at the 20th thousand run. Just first check if it's a stabilizer, because its racks are changed separately, and the problem in general, is not critical. Then look at the thrust bearings of the struts and silent blocks, and there you will already reach the shock absorbers. Everything changes gradually, and if you're lucky, you can drive another 50,000 without service. The rear suspension is more enduring and rarely gives up before the milestone of 100,000. Quite a few cars of 2011 release came to us from America. Almost immediately after the launch, the plant in Yelabuga reached its set capacity, fully supplying the Russian market. The first car came out in January 2012. Until now, the owners are arguing which assembly is better, Russian or overseas, although there are a lot of flaws in both. The doors are skewed, the pipes are not tightened, the seals are set crooked. The most famous problem was the sealing of the roof panel at the transition to the sidewalls. In other words, the roof is leaking. It is possible to find a puddle on the seat cushions, especially the second row also because the doors are bristling and the seals do not close tightly. The Americans had the fifth door slanted, so that water could also be found in the trunk. Clogged drainage of the sunroof also leads to leaks into the cabin. The lower edges of the doors rust, the paint on the trunk lid swells. But despite all the horrors described, there are no massive problems with the fifth generation Ford Explorer with timely maintenance. And in terms of the combination of qualities, the car is perhaps the most reasonable choice on the market. There is no point in chasing restyled models, updates have both pluses and minuses, but it is imperative to pay attention to potential weaknesses, at the same time checking the operation of all-wheel drive electronics and multimedia. Prices start at 800,000 for the simplest option, or from a million for a limited with a 294 horsepower engine. With
and if you are determined enough for the sport version, then you will get a truly unique car, a real police interceptor, only in a civilian suit. Kind of like an undercover detective, 